What about the title itself, For No Good Reason? How did you come up with it? Okay, that's... Um That came up because it, it was something that Hunter used to say to Ralph on a regular basis. Ralph would say to Hunter, what are we doing here? Why are we doing this? And Hunter would say to Ralph, for no good reason, Ralph, for no good reason. And it was a fantastic um, kind of like a dual use title where, where not only is it integral to Ralph's relationship with Hunter, but it also casts light on, on the sometimes futile effort um, an artist will have to change the world or change the environment around them. So it's kind of it's supposed to reflect the idea that um, why are we doing this? Well, for no good reason, but we're doing it anyway. To make a film to include all his books would have been impossible. Um, and so we had to make a choice as to what to include and what to include. Uh, once, you, once you're on a journey, you obviously can't um, nation hop very easily. So once we found our thread for the film, the American influence is very much part of all that. And of course, Rolling Stone magazine and Hunter S. Thompson were fantastic um, uh, partners for Ralph to, to work with. So, so that became a very much a part of it. But I hope that um, Ralph's whole career is reflected by the movie. And also, uh, again, you can't get everything in. So I'm hoping the movie is a great introduction to Ralph. I want to go back to Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, the title of the book is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, A Savage Journey to the Heart of the American Dream. And then I got thinking, instead, should we say Fear and Loathing in Kent, A Savage Journey to the Heart of Ralph Steadman, who is a very genial gentleman, and unlike his dark, twisted paintings. That would be a fantastic title for them. Maybe slightly long, but it's a great idea. I think we might have to re rename it that. He certainly is a, a man who, who um, when you meet him, does not reflect the work that he makes. And his work is um, very strong and very angry, which Ralph isn't. And if anybody hasn't seen the film, how would you describe the film? I would describe my film as a celebration of art and of a great man and of someone's efforts to, to make this world a better place.